Okay. okay, liquid nitrogen, we've got three different sires in here, names are on the top, gonna keep it cold here, alright, so I want this guy, into the water. Let that set for 30 seconds, at least. I have a question. What's the most for it to set? Um, Uncle Daniel says five minutes, maybe up to 15, but five is as much as you really want to do it for, if you can help it. Stickers. Yeah, somebody did. It wasn't me. It's on the ground right in there. I want to stick my hand down right now. Okay, you put that sleeve on, you know what you got to do, right? Take it off. <laughs> <laughs> and give it to you. I was going to say, put your arm in the cow. I'll bring that to you again. No, I think my arm's too short. It might be. Big old cow. Sometimes you gotta reach the ways.
don't need that. I'm gonna need that next to last, okay? Well, I grabbed you two, one for later, one for now. Nope. How's that? It's open. So what's the temperature of the water you put the semen in? Uh, 94 to 98. It was at 96.8. Mm-hmm. And you snip the end. Snip the end, put it in the tree, pop it in the little blue dealy, which is the official name. Load it into the pipette. Pulling the sheath completely down and securing it on the threads. And putting it back in to keep it body warm. warm. The glove is optional. I highly recommend it. <laughs> because you have to stick it through the, the cow's butt clear to where the egg is. It's not painful. Not painful. To the s just right after the suffix is where they want it. Cervix. Cervix. Yeah. Suffix is something from English class. I know. Oh. Cervix. But you're so, close. Yeah. Yeah. They Good work. have been here earlier. We did this whole thing. Talk to the kids all through it. Oh, well, talk me through it because I'm recording it for posterity. <laughs> what does posterity mean? For everybody from now on. Who wants to look? <laughs> Who wants to look? Thirsty. Oh, maybe they were warming on it. Mm-mm. Because -mm. <laughs> the spices, that's where it's being having a picnic. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that one. It's the one I said the sweet let it out. Okay. So it could be like a baby. Got through the rings. Yeah. Push. Oh. Good. I'm checking. Come on. Next, he has to push that in, and so it can make the healthy baby. Do you remember what kind of uterus they have? Bifurcated. Right. So remember, it's got two horns. So I disgusting glove we talked about so many two like bicycle has two wheels bike has two two horns and take the sticker off so we're not confused by her because if they're confused <laughs> it's tricky I don't want to cut on it. Okay. So come this way. Do that a little. Okay. I want to keep it down cold. Let's see. I want. Alright, down it goes. Why'd you have to do that? It just gets it out of the way. There. I got it situated so it will go down.
we swim upstream, right? Swim upstream. So why'd you choose these bowls? Uh, I chose these bowls for a lot of different reasons, but I matched them to the cows based on their birth weight. So cows that normally have big calves when they're born get a lower birth weight bowl and vice versa. I'm trying to I get them more this. uniform. See, I can believe it. Yes, you can. Okay. How long ago did you learn to do this, Brennan? You probably remember better than me. <laughs> I don't know, was I in high school? God, I had to be in high school. Was I a freshman? 14? You guys so close. 16? I don't know. A good sign. <laughs> Goodness. Go also, Mama. Well, you and Daniel never went to classes, did you? Just Victoria? Just Victoria. And then Deb came and taught you? Yep. Deb was our teacher. Was he a good teacher? Right. Well, I hope so. <laughs> she was. <laughs> it was Deb that we met the other night. You know At the Deb. baby shower. <laughs> that you've met a thousand times, but Deb. So was she a good teacher? Yes, she was. <laughs>